Good afternoon. I'm Luther FM, as always, bringing you episode 32 of the So Show Adventures. Um, where you left us off last, we finished the season. We managed to scrape ourselves into the playoffs, only to um, we basically were winning one 0 And in the last few seconds of the game, the opposition, which I think was all Orleans, decided to equalise. So we went to extra time, and as you can imagine. Um, all the ins scored in extra, the last bit of extra time as well. So we didn't even, we didn't even take it to penalties. So um, overall, the season was a good season. We managed to get um, into the playoffs, which is better than we've done before. Now, unfortunately, after I recorded yesterday's episode, um, for some reason, it, the game didn't save. So I had to go through all that again. Now, obviously, I could have just like, not I could have just basically deleted the recording, re-record it, and then got promoted. But I didn't want to cheat, so I, I, I even though I did really well, I had to make sure I'd lost in the playoff, um, playoff quarterfinals or whatever it was, just to make sure it stays to how it was true to the last episode. Because I don't like cheating, so yeah, for some reason I didn't save. I've, I've looked at it, I fixed. I don't know what it was, but it, it it's managed to save now, um. And uh, yeah, that's that really. So I'm still on my old laptop. Um, just it's taken ages to transfer the files over from my old laptop to my new one. So it might it, you might have to just pull up with this one for now. But it's a pretty good laptop, so we'll we'll be all right. But I'm really looking forward to using the new laptop. Hopefully, it can power FM quicker than this one. But yeah, right. I'll be back in a minute with the first game of the new season, and I'll also go through what happened transfer window wise. Right, so here's what happened transfer-wise. This one was a bit of a surprise. I don't actually remember this one, but we lost one of our best midfielders, um, Ty Ball. He went to Fiorentina on a free transfer. So I assume he, I think from what I remember, he didn't want a, didn't want a new contract or something on that lines. Um, or it was a fatal error by me not tying him down to a new contract, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. And then we managed to get 4 million from Crystal Palace, rising to 5 million with clauses. Um, we've got 40% profit of his next deal. So he's currently valued at 8.6. Now, let's say, for instance, the next couple of years he does well. His value will triple. They sell him. We we are quits him. So we've got to make sure that we don't cash in that transfer clause. I am I am known to just instantly cash him out. But I'm going to try and leave that one. And then there was a few other players that just weren't good enough. We just got rid of, basically. And then we sent a few players out on loan. So we made 4.1 million. Not really dented the finances too much. We were minus five and a half million, then we're minus one point five. So it's not too bad. It's helped a bit, but projection wise, we are projected to be down minus eighteen million by the end of the twenty twenty nine thirty season, which is in three years' time. So we are probably going to lose between five and six million each season. So we need to get promoted as quickly as possible. Really, um, Bordeaux got relegated, and FC. Mets got relegated. Um, did Nance go down? No. Um, but yeah. So let's have a look at the let's have a look at the competitions. Let's have a look at season preview. Let's see where we're projected to be. So they're the same. We're going to be twelve, which is not as good as I was hoping for. Angers are favourites to win the championship. Lorient a second. Bordeaux a third. Uh, yeah. Bordeaux and Mets got relegated. So I think Nantes or Nantes, however you pronounce them, they must have won the relegation playoff. We're all the way down here. I feel like we're better than some of these teams higher above us, but we'll see. We've still got Kofi. He's tied in, I tied him down to a new contract. Oh, there was another sale I forgot to tell you about um, because it was technically last season. So, yeah, Noah Fatar left. He wanted a new challenge, um, so we got rid of him. He went to Brest. Plus, he, what, he was starting to, um, to de deteriorate a bit. He was not. He had a decent season. He had like quite a few assists, but his um, ability was going down. So I thought I'd cash in on him while I could. But we kick off the season playing Lorient, who are second favourites to win the championship. So it'll be a very tough test in the first game of the season, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we'll get something out of it. Um, just to update you on the other FM saying I'm going to be doing on YouTube, I'm struggling to find a decent database for Greenland, so that might be 
um, that might not be happening. So what I might do is start a new saying in, I've, I've put a poll on my community page on my YouTube. So people who watch this, can you just like, if you don't mind, can you just go on my community page and vote for whichever option you think would be the best? I've listed, um, so basically the building, the building nation options I've put on there are, just in case I can't get the Green Moon database to work, is Romania, Kosovo, Albania. Um, I can't remember what the other ones are. There's one or two of us. Um, but yeah, if you can just vote for which one you want me to do. And then on Thursday, I'll start that build a nation save. It will probably be with, at the moment, Romania and Kosovo are equal on votes. So I'm hoping somebody will vote one or the other. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do like a coin toss or something. I'd rather do Romania, if I'm honest with you personally. I might end up just doing it anyway, because I was quite impressed by them in the, in the game they played last night. Um, and I've, I've always, I mean, Romania is a, sleep, it's a fallen giant. They were one of the best international teams in the world many years ago. Um, and hopefully I can try and get them back on track with that. But anyway, right. Here's our lineup for the first game of the season. Um, pretty straightforward. Paisley's in, who was one of our bright young prospects. He was on loan last season with FC Bruin. Did really well there from looks of it. Um, we promoted him to the first team. He is only 18 as well. Um, already been capped for reu reunion. And then we've got Langes and Izunga on the wings. So let's see how we get on. Vaz played, Vaz had a good season last season. He's starting to become a really good striker. So that's why I wasn't too downhearted about losing to Patar. Hopefully Izunga can do well on the right wing. So we won't, we won't miss Fatah too much, but we'll see. Oh, we're playing in that lovely purpley pink top I liked. We played well last time we played in that kit. Let's see if we play well in this time. If you can hear all sorts of noises in the background, that's back to the... Uh, he's having a mad moment. I was hoping he would settle down for the, for the morning. Like he did yesterday. Yesterday he went in his bed and fell asleep for the whole time I was recording. But he's decided to have a mad moment today. Anyway, nothing happening so far. No highlights at all. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't hate a draw against Lorient in the first game of the season just to settle our nerves a bit. Got a free kick though, Thierry. Ooh. <clears throat> that was a good save by their goalie. Let's see what Zanga. Is it I I think it's I Zanga, isn't it? I think it's pronounced I Zanga. Oof. A bit ambitious there by Gil. Oh no, they've got a free kick. It's a decent position as well here. Good save. Right, anything else going to come out of this? No. Got a throw in. Lovely little cross. Easy header for the goalie to save. Paisley. With the ball, gives it to Thierry. Um, Bastian. Slowly but surely starting it from the, uh, starting to play out from the back here. Oh, we've lost the ball though. Ah, oh, it's a good goal. Rafa Majika, what a name. I get my first lot of fake shirts at the end of next week. So watch out for that. I'll be doing a video. I've ordered some Man United tracksuits from the same guy as well. Um, training kit, training sets, whatever they call them. Because I quite, I quite like them. I've got some leggings already that I wear. They're really comfy. Adidas ones that are Man United. So I just sort of get them. And they weren't massively expensive. I think they were like 20 quid each instead of paying like 60, 70 quid for the full set. That's why I've, I've had to do it. It's it's um, it's one of them. I know there's a lot of people that are against fake shirts and stuff. And I understand that. Ideally, I'd rather get the authentic one. I'd rather be putting Man United. I'd rather be putting my money in Man United's pockets. 
um, even though I hate the glaziers, but you know, it's just ridiculous. 80, 90 quid for a bloody sh football shirt. And I know I'm probably sounding like an old man because I remember when I was a kid, they were nowhere near that expensive. Um, I don't know, obviously with inflation, things just go up over the years, but it's just, it's just ridiculous. I don't know how families can afford to, I mean, even a kid, even a kid's shirt's like 60, 70 quid or something like that, maybe more. And the kids want to wear their football shirts and the parents feel like, a, like they have to get them and then it's costing them money they don't particularly have. Money's tight at the moment, so I can understand why a lot of people are going down the fake shirt route. Um, I shan't be giving the details of the guy that I use simply because I know I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of the ones that they suggest, I've then tried to find them and they're gone. So I simply don't want to get rid of my... Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, right, let's get back onto the game. Let's see if we can get back in this game here. The conceding, LaFont. Come on, the font. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. 2 0. It's got to be offside, though. Come on, ref. Yeah, goal disallowed. That was quick. That screen went up really quickly then. You didn't. You have to. It was like a microsecond there. Um, put him on. Take Vaz off. I don't know when we'll take Kofi off. He's been not playing as well. Right. Let's hope we get a late goal here. I mean, we have been better than them in certain ways. I think. I think we've been a better team. They just took their chances quicker, better. Can't get the words out today. I'm so sorry. Right. 1-0 loss, not the best way to start the episode. We got, oh my God, we got Angers next, who were, were meant to be the favourites for the title. So we played second and now we're playing first. Well, at least we're getting these games out of the way and then hopefully it'll be a, lot, a little bit easier. Oh, I pressed that too quickly. All right, um, let's just have a look. Right, I'll see you in a sec. Right, we're back for the Angers game now. Um, pretty straightforward lineup, same as last time. So let's just get cracking. See how we get on. I'm hoping Paisley um, ends up fulfilling his potential. At the moment, his ability is only two stars. I'm hoping that changes pretty quickly. Because we can't really afford to be playing two star players in this league. Hopefully, we do better in this game than we did last game. Then again, like I said, we were playing second favourites to win. And now we're playing the, the, the top favourite to win. Angers are meant to, according to the season preview, they're meant to win the championship easily. So it's going to be a tough game. First highlight looks like it's going to us, Izanga. Ooh, deflected and then the goalie got a hand on it. Corner to us to see what we can do. Bastion with the corner. Floats it up. Go straight in the goalkeeper's hands. Uh, there were some surprises in the Euros yesterday. Uh, Belgium losing, Romania winning as well. Yes, yeah, Slovakia, I think they won, didn't they? I think they were the team that beat Belgium. Slovakia and Romania. I was going to do, at, this, at the start of the tournament, I was going to do some tricksy bets every day um, on the, not the favourites, but the, the underdogs to win. So um, I would have made a little bit of money if I'd done it yesterday because Romania and Slovakia were not the favourites to win their, their game. So I would have probably got decent odds, but I think overall it's just not... I didn't bother in the end because I just didn't think it'd be worth doing because mostly the favourites are going to probably win. It's not like the World Cup. 1-1. Uh, I didn't even pay attention to the goal we scored. But yeah, it's because I was yapping away, when not I? Sorry, I've got an itchy head. This mask is itching my head. Sorry. Right. Come on, Sosho. See what we can do. Paisley. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Oh, my Zanga should have done better than that. That was such a beautiful pass. Right. 
got a free kick to us. Paisley's calling for it, I think. I don't know why. Tierra's lining it up. See what I can do. Oof, just wide. Ah, oh, come on. We've been the better team as well. 2-1 to Angus. Hopefully he's injured. It's not what we want to see. Our main man injured. This has not been the best of episodes so far, has it? Let's see if we can get back in this game before half-time. Paisley, very nervous with the ball there. Bastian drives it forward. Loses the ball. That was a poor pass. Players just don't seem up for it. They just seem all over the place. Good interception, though. Oh, lose the ball again. It's like we don't want to keep the ball. Goal. Oh, I thought I was in then. Good save. Oh, was it not a save? Oh, I thought it was a save. Bastian not playing the best. I better demand a bit. Huh? Oh, I'll do it now. Demand a bit more of him. Same with Gil. Same with Paisley. Same with Galvez. Probably same with Popal as well. Uh, God, there's a, lot, there's a lot of players that are underperforming in this game. I can't substitute them all, that's the problem. So I want some of them to fight for their position in the pitch. Place on the pitch. All right, Angus with the ball. Come on, let's get off him. That's it, good. Go on, Bastion. Do something. There you go. Beautiful ball by Thierry. Langes. Oh, look at that for a cross. Uh, if uh, we had Kofi on the pitch still, that might have had a decent chance of scoring. Gil. Oh, rattled the bar there. We've come out this second half fighting. Can't ask much more than that. Bastion with the corner. Let's see if he can uh, put in a good performance now. Turn it around. Ah, uh, at least nothing. Wait a bit longer and I think I'll make some subs. Right, let's try firing up the player, see if that'll do anything. We've been playing well. Galvez. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands is not what we wanted. All right, Paisley can come off. Bossy on. Langez can come off, I think. No, we can't. Got anyone to take off the Bastion? Uh, I suppose Labat, if need be. Go on, Isanga. Yes, get in, LaFont. 2 2. Right, let's see what we can do now. Let's see if we can get. Three points instead of one. We've been the better team. 2.1 xG. Oh great, the bat's injured. Let me just put him on. Can't take any more players off. Great. I feel like this is going to be a, a difficult season, I think. To be honest. We are missing Kunzler and Tybold. And Fatar, actually, to be honest, because Fatar got a lot of assists last season. He got like 13, 14 assists. Maybe I should have just kept them and just let them contracts expire. I was trying, I'm trying to balance the books as best as possible so we don't get an even worse financial position. 2 2 is not a bad result, though, considering we're playing apparently top of the league prediction wise. So we've got our first point of the season, which is not too bad. Hopefully we can get our first win of the season against Bastia. We'll see.
Yeah, it's good to see Oizanga doing well. The bat's injured for about three or four weeks. Right then, I'm back in the set with the Bastia go. So we're now playing Bastia. We've got Didot back, which is good because we've missed him so far this season. We needed him. Uh, Gil wants to leave, wants to play for a bigger club, so I've offered him out. We've had no offers yet, but we will see how that goes. So yeah, let's just get on with the game now. The font on the right. So Isanga not playing this game. Lafont usually plays well when he when he plays. He's quite um, reliable. We get a good performance and a goal or assist usually. So we'll see. We'll see how well he does in this game. Right, Gill's injured already, so that might put a kibosh on any potential um, transfer out. Be able to just have to stay here for longer. Not the ideal start of the game. Yeah, been a bit of a boring game so far. No highlight. Oh, here's the first highlight. Fortunately, it's not ours. Good interception there, Paisley. I don't know who that was to, but okay. It's good defending, I suppose. We get it off them, though. Uh oh. Bastia 1 0 up. This has not been the best start of the season, has it? One draw and looks like, at the moment, two losses, unless we can pull something out of the bag here. But Bastille look more likely to score than we do. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, so two losses and one draw, one point out of three games is not going to get us in the playoffs. Might get us relegated. I don't think I'll... I don't think they'll keep me... If I get relegated, I don't think they'll... I think they'll sack me. Might have to change my tactic. We'll see. Maybe a team meeting might help. Right, can we get us back in the game? Give us a slight chance. We get, a, we get an early goal in the second half. We've got every chance of getting something out of this. Little back heel by Thierry. Gets the ball back, gives it to Vaz. We seem to be passing backwards, not forwards here, which is not what I like. Great ball by Thierry to Lafont. Oh, beautiful cross. Get in. Go on, Vaz. Kofi's been teaching Vaz how to head up by the looks of it. 2 1. Get in. Right. Let's see if we can push on now and get a point out of this game. Two draws and one loss is still not a good start of the season, but it's better than two losses and one draw. Yeah, come on, the font. You know what to do. Over the top. I don't know who that was to. Oh, my God. That was an own goal. Bloody Paisley. Oh, well. Try firing up the players again. Okay. Game over, everybody. Uh. Right, Payson needs to come off. Uh, Matthews can come on for you. Didot needs to come off. Langus. Kofi, you can come off. Got on at Mayuma. Uh, Yadni. There we are. <sighs> we just got to hope we don't concede any more goals and make it even more embarrassing. 4 1's embarrassing enough, but. Other than Thierry. Thierry's probably been one of our best players in this game, even though he's only got a 6.4. I feel like he's, he, he's, he's done a lot better than what, than what I was expecting. The font. Come on, the font. Oh, I mean, what was the point in that shot? Yeah, this is not good.
and have to do some drastic changes for the next game, I think. Maybe a tactical change or something. Might I might call up um, some players from the youth system, see if they get into the team. Just want this game to end now. Along in the agony here. Oh, they might get another one here. No, got it off them. So you keep the ball. There you go. Go on, Baz. Beautiful ball. Go on, the font. Finish it off. Yeah, go on, the font. Can't really celebrate too much because it's a consolation goal at this point. Unless, obviously, we get another two goals in the next couple of minutes, which ain't going to happen. Uh, oh, well, at least it's 4 2 instead of 4 1. Some, some slight positives to come out of that. The font scoring again. At least he's one of our top performers. Um, I think I might keep the ca the tactic as it is for now. Unless, obviously, we get that dreaded, the fans are not happy about the tactic or something like that. Uh, let's see if we can do a team meeting yet. No, we can't. It's too early for a team meeting. Right, and I'll be back in a set with the next game. So we are now playing uh, Valencians. Hopefully we can get our first win of the season, but we'll see. Um, let's just get cracking with the game. Fingers crossed we can do something in this game. Then again, I was hoping to do that against Bastia and that didn't happen. Uh, we don't know. We will see. They're currently fourth. They're doing well. We are near the relegation zone, which is not good. But it's very early into the season. Only four games. This is the fourth game of the season, so we can't. I gotta try and stay positive as best as possible. I am known in real life to be a very negative person, which I know is probably quite off-putting for you lot watching. I, I, people say I'm too negative. I say I'm too re realistic with life. There we go. One nil. Yeah, definitely going to have to change the tactic. I think the, the players just don't want to know this one. Nothing's happened since that goal. See if encouraging them helps, maybe it will. All right, let's try encouraging them again. They've got a free kick. Head it out. Vaz with the ball now. Gives it to Lafont. Lafont tries and gets past the players. Manages to do it to a point. Gives it to Vaz. Oh, it's a great bit of play there, lads. Well done. 1-1. One, one. That's what I want to see, lads. Lafont and Vaz linking up nicely. Kofi's really underperforming so far this season. He'd have got at least a goal or two in the first four games of the season by now. Right. Uh, Abdu is knackered, so we'll put on the silver. Who hasn't played for a while for us. Bastian, you're tired. I'd say my mouse pad playing up. There we go. I think Bossy will be coming on for him. Oh, we can't make any more subs by the looks of it. So Bastion will have to stay on the pitch. I oh, know, um, yeah, we'll have to stay on the pitch. Right, let's try to demand a bit more, see if that helps. Put the ball into the box. Doesn't look like anything's going to happen. We're going to get another draw. Better than a loss, though. We still haven't got four games played. We still haven't won yet. That is quite concerning. Yeah, I'm going to have to change my tactic for the next game.
Right then, back in the set with the next game. Right, so here we are, last game of the episode, and we're playing Korn Kia, uh, Keanu, whatever they call them. Sorry, Khan Khan Yu. Khan Khan Yu. There you go. Right. Um, I've decided to keep this ch tactic for the last game of the episode, just to see if we can turn it around. Um, it worked well for us last season. I don't really want to completely just get rid of it. Um, hopefully, we can turn this around with this win. We haven't. We didn't lose the last game, so we'll see how it goes with this one. If we do, if we end up losing or drawing, then I probably will try a different tactic for the next episode, which will be next week. Um, yeah, because so my so show save is going to be on Mondays and Tuesdays, and then the other football manager save that I'm doing, build a nation. I haven't decided which nation yet, but um, that will be Thursday, Friday, and think Sunday from what I remember. Let's see how we go here. Did I oh nearly oh, Hello Baxter. There we go. Everyone Baxter's making an appearance. Hello, thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna try and play this game one-handed now while also trying to give him attention. He's a very needy dog, but it's in their breed. So if you want if you want a dog that wants constant fuss all the time, then this is the dog for you. But if you don't want a dog that wants constant fuss, get in. Go on, Kofi. First, second goal of the season. I don't remember Kofi scoring at all, but okay. Second goal of the season for Kofi. Um but yeah, he's a nice dog. I love him to bits. I won't I wouldn't uh, I would never want a different dog now I've got him, but he does, he does take a lot of attention at times, which is very difficult when you're trying to, you know, be, be a YouTuber. He just comes for me for warmth anyway. That's the only reason he wants to cuddle. Right, 1-0 up. Hopefully this is where we turn the season around and we can start building momentum, getting that playoff places again. If we don't get in the playoffs this season, I feel like this season's a um, major step backwards. I do think we're missing Kunzler and Fatar, to be honest. They were um, they were big players for us. Tybold not missed him so much because he didn't really play that much and we have better midfielders, but... Yeah, definitely. I just felt like with Fatar, he was getting a bit too old for the team. And, I felt, and, and his ability was starting to deteriorate. So I thought better to make some money off him now instead of not making any money off him in a year or two time. Oh, yeah, that was lucky. Kofi, third goal of the season. One away from a hat-trick in this game. Just what can you even... You can't see Buxter, can you? There he is. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Ah, I butter wouldn't melt. Right, Baxter, you need to go on the floor for now. And um, I'll sort I'll push you later. Right, Bastian needs to come off. Uh Bossy can come on for you. Abdu Ibubak can come on for you. And then, there we go. But yeah, good good to end this episode on a high with a 2-0 win. Yagni floats it over to Lafont. We get another one, Ooh, nearly. Yeah, I say a two 0 one. There's still ten minutes to go. They might end up. Equal. They might end up bloody. We draw, might end up drawing this game at this rate. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can squeeze this win out, and then it'll be five points from five games, which isn't the best, but isn't the worst either. Good, 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 good. 
hopefully that means we can turn this around now and we can go on a bit of a decent run. Oh god, we're playing Bordeaux next. Oh god. They're not doing well though. 13th in the league. They're only one one position higher than us. So you never know. We might might be able to uh beat them. But yeah, I'm gonna save the game so I don't forget. Um well that's that for this episode. Thank you as always for watching the video. Um, feel free to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe if you want. And I'll be back with the Socio Save next Monday. Um, and then also, like I said, the Builder Nation Save will start on Thursday. I will post on uh, Thursday morning or Wednesday night. I will post what nation I'm going to do the Build Nation Save with. If you don't want to know, don't look at the community post if you want to be surprised when you watch the first video. But yeah, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.